Hello, I'm James Randi, and I'm here to help celebrate World Homeopathy Awareness Week. The acronym for that is WA, a week during which the practitioners of and believers in the delusion known as homeopathy wish to draw our attention to that variety of quackery. Now, to me, it's much like holding a dragon understanding homecoming. That acronym would be the or an international Tinkerbell Awareness Celebration. Well, if it's awareness that the homeopathic community wants, then by all means, let's promote that awareness. We at the James Randi Educational Foundation are dedicated to explaining the true nature of strange ideas. And folks, there's no stranger idea than the science that Samuel Hahnemann came up with some 200 years ago, perhaps due to the effects of a bad pork chop or some cheap wine that he ingested. Who knows? You see, Sam decided that if you ingested a really tiny amount of a substance that produced a certain effect on your system in normal dosages, that would produce the exactly the opposite effect. For example, the active ingredients in homeopathic sleeping pills is an extract of coffee beans. But folks, you haven't any idea what Sam meant by tiny amounts. In order to be sure that you get at least one molecule of caffeine in the so-called sleeping pills, you'd have to swallow 60 swimming pools full of the pills. Not a pretty picture, I think you'll agree. That's a dilution of literally a few billion parts of water to one part of coffee. For a sleeping pill? Come on! Ah, but it's all a matter of vibrations, you see. As I've often said, if you were to give any of these quacks a truckload of vibrations, they wouldn't recognize them or know where to keep them. Vibrations is only a word they throw about for effect, and it's acceptable to the suckers out there, who gobble it up along with the fake pills and pay about 70% more for homeopathic products than they do for remedies that actually work. Hey! I'd just gone through six months of chemotherapy, came out of it with a clean bill of health, and I never popped one homeopathy pill, had an acupuncture needle poked into me, or hired anyone to chant or pray, even for a moment. I used that old-fashioned idea, what do we call it? Oh yeah, medical science. I'm sure you've heard of it. Oh, homeopathy has been tested, and tested, and tested for more than a century now. Just a few years back, the BBC in the UK asked me if I'd put up the JRAF Million Dollar Prize for a successful test of this ancient nonsense. Well, I immediately agreed. The British Royal Society conferred with homeopathic experts and with their guidance designed a definitive, comprehensive, double-blind protocol for finding out if the homeopaths themselves could detect any effect of their own nostrums. A fair test, right? Well, the results were no surprise at all. Homeopathy failed dramatically, and as we expected, the homeopathic community then offered up all kinds of objections to the protocol that they themselves had approved. But it was ever thus. Yes, let's become much more aware of homeopathy, friends. You'll find this fakery on the shelves of modern pharmacies all over the world. Here in the USA, Walgreens pharmacies sell it, as does Boots pharmacies in the UK. It doesn't work. It's a fake. Let's label it as it should be labeled. Quackery, nonsense, fraud, and as my good friends Penn and Teller are fond of saying, bullshit. You might want to go to this URL to see more on World Homeopathy Awareness Week. Please do. I'm James Randi, and I thank you for your kind attention. We thank you for watching this latest episode of James Randi Speaks. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randi.org.